Okay, got it. And now what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers, ugly feet. <laughs> is she someone that's your type? Uh, you know, I say I like feet. Oh. I ain't really feeling her feet. <laughs> hey, I'm kind of hot right now. So. I see you used to dealing with peasants. So you don't know when you see a king. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to The Vibe. It's your boy once again. And I got another one with this pop the balloon craziness. Okay, so. I'm just so amazed at this. Every time I watch one of these, it's just so amazing. So it got me kind of hooked. So that's why I keep running through them because I just can't, you know, sometimes it's grown people that say they always looking for a certain guy and they get these guys in front of them then they just kind of like mm, i don't wait to see what else is back there or come up with the dumbest excuses but this dude here he's gonna mess with him a little bit uh he has <laughs> i ain't gonna tell you i'll let y'all see it and then we're gonna jump right back in it but before we do make sure you hit that subscribe like and share support the channel and here we go this is crazy Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. <laughs> Can I have your name? <laughs> My name is Moan. Moan? Moan, like make Mo? you moan. Yeah, okay, moan. and how old are you? I'm 38. 38, okay, and what do you do? I'm a creative impresario. Mm, okay, what and what does that mean? <laughs> so pretty much a uh, creative impresario is a person that excels in the arts. So I have a a video production company called Dreamcast Video, mm. and I'm also a, a brand, so I'm moan on a beat. Okay, cool. And All right, before they get any further, now you notice, all except for the first lady, all the other ones popped like as soon as he came in. So they didn't hear anything he said. Now the little one up here, she had her reason for popping afterwards when he started talking. But see, they all popped before they listened to the guy talk. But when they questioned them, they always say, well, it was... Y'all looked at what he had on, and y'all popped the balloon. You see what I'm saying? Didn't figure out what's going on, but, hey, that's what the show is about. It's about being petty. Bunch of petty people. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? So I look for emotional maturity. I look for uh, consistency and pretty feet. And good credit. Oh okay. <laughs> but if you don't got good credit and you got bad credit, I know how to fix that to get us some funding. Um, okay, okay, got it. And now what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers, ugly feet. Um, oh, my God. Deal breakers is also uh, attitude. I don't do attitude okay. and combativeness. I don't mm -hmm. do that either. Okay. All right, so we did get... What about the Eddie Murphy movie where the guy... Uh... What was it, one of the movies when the women had bad feet? He'll slide out the bed on them. That's what I was thinking about when no dude said they had terrible feet. So they all probably looking like, oh, my God, did I do my toes? You know, cause some of them come on here and they, they feet look worse than mine. <laughs> Get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over to some of these ladies and see why they ended up popping. Oh. All right, if we can have your name and age. I'm Alexis, and I'm 29. Okay. Alexis, why did you pop your balloon? Um, I didn't really like the make you moan statement. You. And um, you kind of look like coming to America right now. I got oh, you. Oh, wow. But you know wait, wait, wait. Now, look at them laughing. Look at them laughing now. She went straight for the shame. All right? The insults. The coming to America. She didn't have to say that. But she went there. Now, the other girls laughed or whatever. But, hey, I'll just point it out how you ladies will. You will throw that first stone. So after that, it's on. It's on after that. I'm going to ta ta ta. So he can, he can tear her up from there. So let's see what he do. Hey, I mean, as long as you happy, I'm happy. For sure. I see you used to dealing with peasants, so you don't know when you see a king. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is she someone that's your type? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's, let's get him again. Let's get him again. Watch the girl next to him then when he say this. Watch this. Let's see if I back her up. Watch. 29. Okay. Alexis, why did you pop your balloon? 
Um, I didn't really like the make you moan statement. And um, you kind of look like coming to America right now. I got Funny. you. Look up here. But you know, hey, I mean, as long as you happy, I'm happy. For sure. I see you used to dealing with peasants, so you don't know when you see a king. Look at her face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is she someone that's your type? Uh, you know, I say I like feet. Oh. I ain't really feeling her feet. <laughs> Hey, I'm kind of hot right now. So. <laughs> uh, see, see, little <laughs> piggy. Uh, see, now you're looking shame. Look at you. You're a little thick em. Your feet ain't right. But look at her now trying to, you know, uh, uh, I, I was, no, no, it's on now. It's on. You get it? You throw the first stone, it's coming. But let's get Working it. for me, so. Okay. You know look at her face. On, pretty, look at though. her face. Yeah. She definitely pretty, but. You could look like Holly Berry. If you ain't got pretty feet, I ain't rocking with it. <laughs> Bless up. Let's go to our next lady. <laughs> if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Lexi and I'm 27. Um, it's complicated. Uh, you don't have no socks, so it's just not. It's you just don't not have it. no socks. It's not it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, is Lexi someone that's your type? Uh, let's look at and Lexi real quick. Don't do too much. Look no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Okay. Lexi, you kind of doing your thing, you know? Thanks. She got a, she got a queen, a queen look, okay. feet pretty, got a nice tattoo. Thank you. Um, that's your real hair? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, if that's your real hair, yeah. Thank she you. She cool. Yeah, she looked decent. Thank you. For sure. Okay, thank you. Yeah, she was thought, she here. thought he was going to get her. You can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Tiffany, and I'm 26 years old. It's just, you you seem like a funny guy. You just see, I love to laugh, but it's just giving real gimmicky. Sure. That's that's really it to me. Okay. It's just giving gimmicky, the moan statement. It's just giving gimmick to me. Cool. That's really it. Okay, cool. I like that. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, is I, Tiffany someone that's your type? Nah. Okay, and why not? Um, the fit is kind of cheesy to me, kind of looking a little bit <laughs> rainbowish. you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not, I'm not one that do lace fronts, Ooh. so I don't really feel like the lace fronts. And, um, but don't get it twisted. I could see through all that and through all that, you beautiful. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? And you got a soul that glow. Thank you. <laughs> but gimmicky, look me up. You see what's good okay. with me. <laughs> got you. Now, one thing I want y'all to pay attention to. These women will, they'll throw something out of him. Like I said, they'll throw something, try to get a, a viral moment, laugh, joke, whatever. And when he starts talking, he's going to tell them about themselves, but he will come back and compliment them. And as soon as they cut, say that they're pretty, watch their emotions on their face. It doesn't matter what else he done said about them, but as soon as he say, you're pretty, oh, they start smiling. That's all they're caring about. That's all they're caring about. Watch. All right. <laughs> if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm C and I'm 36. Okay, C. I ended up popping my balloon because I didn't like some of the comments that you made, but also I don't like your outfit. I mean, I do think, um, I think it's great that you're 38. That's kind of the age range that I'm going for. Um, and you do seem funny. Um, but I think... Um, a lot of the guys before you kept it really like classy and really nice, and that's the type of guy that I'm looking for. Now, you're saying the guys before him kept it nice and classy and all that, and that's the type of guy you're looking for. So why are you still here? You didn't choose any of those guys. Do you understand what I'm saying? You make a dumb comment like that, and they've gone through probably like four guys. You make a dumb comment like that, how good, better they are, but you didn't choose any of them. You see what I'm saying? So you wouldn't even be here. This, they don't be thinking, man. They just try, they thinking he's being harsh, but they are the ones throwing the insults. He just comes back. That's it. I hear that. Someone nicer, yeah. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah, you're like, all right. <laughs> Is he someone that's your type? Uh, C's pretty cool. Pre Pretty feet. Thank you. Cool outfit. The outfit, I mean, people saying I'm gimmicky. The outfit look kind of gimmicky. 
I mean, but, um, it's better than yours. It's better than mine. It's better than And um, I like, I'm really like into like, I like, I really like natural. But again, just like, um, just like I mentioned with her, I'm all about uh, natural and I, I can see through it all and you're beautiful. You seem like you have like an aura that's, that's really glowing and I rock with that. Look at her. I Watch like um, beautiful skin, amazing skin. And yeah, she pretty cool. Okay. What's up? All right, thank Look you. Up. She happy now. He's going over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Nkiru and I'm 32. Um, I really, I really don't know what to say, but uh, I don't think I feel like a connection between us. Mm. And I mean, you look nice, but I don't think you're the right person for me. Respect. Okay. Huge. And what's making you feel like he's not really the right person for you? Uh, like some of the comments you made earlier, that was part of it. Um, and I don't know. I just, it just, I just don't feel the connection. Like tradition aspect. For sure. Traditionally, I don't. I, now you heard what she just said, but she popped when he first walked out. You see what I'm saying? Now the comments is 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 a comeback from what the women said to him. Now if they weren't rude to him. He probably wouldn't have been rude because he finishes out with a compliment. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of you ladies, y'all throw this stuff out. Y'all see somebody around somebody. You try to get a joke and be funny and embarrass the person. Part of this shame tactic. Now, when the guy does it back to you and everybody laugh or you think they're going to laugh, now you're getting all in your feeling. Don't do it because some people are quick and they will get you and they'll tell you about yourself. This brother quick, but he ain't stepping out of his for nobody. And I don't blame him. I mean, I don't, this chick sitting up here like 6'10". I don't know. I don't know. Weird, kind of weird. Uh, Where are you from? I'm Caribbean. I'm from originally from the USA. Yeah. Mother's Trinidadian, father's Jamaican. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, nice. But sure. I don't think I feel the connection. Cool. Yes. Got it. And now, is she someone that's your type? She's giving me real goddess energy. Like the look fit look is like um look at the her. fit is definitely on point. The rings, the gold, the glow, Thanks. the neck, the heels. <laughs> no, I mean I'm I mean I'll keep it a hundred. Yeah. I mean I know you said I s had comments back there, but you know, I I give credit when it's due. Oh, and you're well. definitely going superstar. All right, thank you. Bless up yourself. Don't worry yourself. <laughs> All right. See what I mean? Look at her. She just, ooh, just melted when he started talking and putting those compliments on her. But she looking at him like, I, I just, uh, uh. Tell you, man, it's in your nature to be rude. We just had this conversation earlier today. It's in your nature to be rude and nasty. Point blank. Ain't nothing I'm doing. It's what you're doing. I just pointed out. Right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Danielle, and I'm 35. Mm -hmm. um, I popped my balloon originally because it just didn't match the kind of person that I am. Mm -hmm. um, Personality-wise, just coming out just the way we're dressed, I feel like we wouldn't okay, step out one is together. Being honest. Um, but on top of that, I feel like you're going to tear me up and then break my ass right the fuck back down. So I'll stay clear of that. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> All right. So is she someone that's your type? Well, me uh, having Caribbean parents, I'm real big on energy and real big on auras. And you seem like you have an amazing aura. So I would, I would never break you down. Anybody that uh, rocks with me, I always lift them up. I'm an upgrader. I always upgrade. Anybody that comes in my vicinity, I upgrade them. You get what I'm saying? But you, beautiful feet, beautiful heels. <laughs> The dress is immaculate. The watch is crazy. The tattoo is like that. The kisses on the chest is like that. Yeah, Hair like is like her. that. I'm gonna give you this a mine, too. Don't. Oh, that's yeah. you? Yeah, this mine. That's this you? Mine. <laughs> so big up yourself, darling. Man, nah, worry yourself. I appreciate you. What's up? All right, if Look we can have them. your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Now, before they get to this one, I think this one is a little slow. I really do. I don't even know why she's here, but I always, every time I see her on the panel, I just thought she was slow. My name's Kiana. I'm 32. Bless up yourself, Kiana. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, yeah, Kiana and 32. Uh, I popped my balloon because, you know, just 
um, seems very flat, not flashy, but showy and whatnot, okay. not understanding the fit. Showy. So I don't know if it's coming to America, like, but I mean, as far as that's what it looks like mm -hmm. and all power to you, but yeah, For just, sure. yeah. I just know if I'm, if that's how you dress, to, uh, cause if we're going on a date and whatnot, I'm very like a, you know, chill kind of not flashy at all kind of person. I got you. So yeah, that's it. You know what's crazy? No one asked him what it stood for. Not one. Like she said, it's coming to America. I don't think you could think of it's coming to America. It's got to be something African descent, West Africa, something. Ask a question like, so what is it that you're, what does you represent? None of them asked why he was wearing it. They just attacked him wearing it. There was a reason behind what he had on. Like he said, it's all a gimmick. It's part of his, his brand. But he's also, what do you say, um, Jamaican and something else. But <laughs> they just don't ask questions that make sense. They just attack. Attack, attack, attack. That's it. And she trying to attack, but she don't know what to say. Uh, it's, not, it's, it's showy. What is showy? It's showy. Like, what are you, 10? It's showy. Like, uh, For sure. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, she's someone that, that you would approach your type? Um, no. Was it Kiana? Mm -hmm. um, Kiana's cool. Um, where you from? Miami. Miami, okay. So I'm from uh, Silver Spring, Maryland, but I know a lot of people in Southeast D.C. You give me that type of vibe, which is, um, which is smooth. Uh, your aura is beautiful. Um, you got, you kind of, I like the colors. Feet is gorgeous. I love feet. Feet is gorgeous. Heels is different. I like that. But um, a lot of people are not going to understand where I'm at because I'm on like an elevated level. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> and again, like I told the other, anybody that come in my vicinity, I mm -hmm. upgrade them. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And what might seem gimmicky to some is treasure to others. You feel what I'm saying? So is she somebody that I would date? Um, not really. Uh not really, not because she isn't attractive, but I'm a I'm an artsy type of person. And when it comes to people that I connect with, it's people that um is in the artsy nature, you know what I mean? I do events, I do art shows, things like that. And um not saying that she doesn't fit that 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 vibe, but again, like the others, I could see through everything and um I got one question, like and, and it's and it's really pertaining to you and a couple of other females with the lashes what is it with women with lashes what is it um oh yeah wait i don't know like you're wearing a, a piece that's ex, 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 um exemplifying your mm -hmm. everything about you so sure. that's what i'm doing i'm just wearing a piece that's exemplifying my beauty so no nah, you're so your eyelashes exemplifies who you are and your beauty your eyelashes. If y'all know the root of where the eyelashes came from, where the long eyelashes came from, you probably would take those things off. It is, I'm not even going to, well, it's like this. It came from a madam back in, I don't know what year it was, but way back. Um, for her ladies to not get certain stuff in their eyes, she created the eyelashes. You can look it up, but created the eyelashes to keep the stuff from getting in their eyes. True statement. Don't blame me. But now y'all wearing them casually out in the streets. So, got to know where the things come from, man. Got to know. Trust me, sweetheart. You beautiful. Yeah. So, I'm not, I just, um, I think that a lot of times women, when they're wearing the lashes, I think they're wearing it for themselves and not knowing what a man really likes. And a man really likes supernatural. But yeah, you me, are. I'm the type of person where I'm going to do everything how I want to do for myself as far as like even what I'm eating, losing weight, because I'm just going to do what, how I want yeah. myself to look. For and sure. my man just has to like it. Like, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. cool. I like that. That's Thank you. <laughs> Let's go back this way. Oh, this okay, way. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, unfortunately, that is all of the balloons popped, but we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's for sure. give it up for them, ladies. Bless up, y'all.
And that's the crazy thing. Like the last one, and like the last pop balloon I did, where the lady, everybody told her she was aggressive. Every last one of the guys, and she went down the line and, and not only challenged them, got defensive, and said she's not that way. But being that way the whole time. But like him telling her what, and that's what a lot of men try to explain in a nice way the things that we do like and the things we don't like are some of the things that you ladies are doing. Y'all get offended by it. Y'all say you're going to do it anyway, and he's just going to have to. Now you want us to settle for it. You don't care if you're overweight, your makeup don't look right, you're going to wear a head, your hair hanging down to the ground, because that's where it's going next. Your hair, I mean, you're already down to your, your waistline, so you'll wear your hair down to your knees next and then to the ground. So we got to either like it, love it, or leave it. But then when they leave it, oh, why? Y'all don't like this, we get this. Remember the BBLs, people kept saying, the dudes that y'all really want to marry and do this and this, they don't care for these big BBLs. If you done it and kept yourself in a nice proportion with your body, that's cool. It looks good. But once you go out of the aesthetics of your body, it is not. I don't care how big you make it, it is not. It's not attractive. You can look in the mirror 150 times. You're only going to get the, the horny dogs. That's it. So when the dudes try to tell you in a certain way, I guarantee you if you listen to some of it and did it, just try it for about three months, two or three months, and see if you get anything out of it. And I guarantee you will. Because they, they're not ugly women, but the accessories is not you. So let's say if I married you, and now we at home, we chilling, all this stuff coming off. Like the dude had, a, matter of fact, a dude had a kid with the lady. And I'm not talking about the Asian dude. It was another dude. And didn't know the girl had went and had plastic surgery on her face. I mean, her eyes and everything had everything changed. And so when he had the kid, he's like, why is this kid so unattractive? So he took her to court about it. He said she deceived him and all this other stuff. And the court was more caught up on Hurting, he was hurting her feelings and talking about the baby versus what he was talking about. And what he was saying is, I was deceived to thinking she was an attractive woman when reality was she wasn't until she had the surgery. So the kids came out unattractive kids. You see what I'm saying? Because people do marry and link up for the looks so they can have beautiful kids. But your kid come out looking like a little Frankenstein. Like, what? The age has just, wait a minute, what happened? This ain't my kid. And come to find out, yes, yeah, y'all kid, but this is what your wife looked like back 10 years ago. You see what I'm saying? So that's the whole concept behind all this stuff, man. I thought this was funny with this dude, especially the first lady. He shut her down real quick. And it kind of set the tone. They was worried about he going to you know, go after because the other girl like, nah, I ain't saying that because I don't want you to break me up. If you don't throw a comment, I mean, an insult, you won't get an insult. That's just how it is, ladies. You don't have to insult me because you see something funny. You ain't got to say it. Because if we did that, come on. Well, but anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. The coming to America comments and all this stuff. Do you think that they were just purposely trying to be funny? Because dude was cool about everything. But I would have just asked about the outfit, to be honest. I didn't understand it, but I would have asked. Maybe just ask the question. And that's it for me, guys. And it's your boy, and I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. I got to get to the gym. Peace. Later.